Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my Birch Box versus Ipsy. So if you guys are interested in seeing November's glam bag and Birch Box, then just stay tuned and keep on watching. Okay, so just to let you guys know, I did film an everyday makeup tutorial for the fall that I've been wearing, like seriously, for the past month and a half, which is this look right here. And if it is already out, I will have the link in the description box, but most likely this one's going to be out. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe so that you can go ahead and see it pop up in your newsfeed as soon as I upload it and post it live. So it has been a long time since I've been on camera, and I really do miss you guys. Uh, I really did. Um, I had my son on the 2nd. It is now the 11th of November, so I've been needing to get on camera and film for you guys. For those of you ha who have sticked around, thank you so much for understanding why I haven't been posting as much and why some of them have been mostly planner related. And for my new subscribers out there, hello. I really hope you guys enjoy it here and like the Couture by Crystal family. If you have any questions, always ask in the comments below I get back to you guys as fast as I can so um, yeah with that with that being said let's get into it we're gonna go ahead and start with my birch box because this is the first one that I got um, I didn't pick the curated box but I did pick a sample all the lip um, products that I wanted were basically gone so I got an eyeshadow stick so let's go ahead I love the tissue paper look at that color it's perfect for fall so this is the card. We're going to go ahead and put it aside because it has all the products there. And this is what my box would look like. What is this? Ooh. I guess we're going to start off with this bad boy. So this says Aries. It is a body polish exfoliant. So it's an exfoliator. The full size of this retails for $25. This body polish goes on smoothly and rinses off cleanly. Leaves behind only soft fantastic smelling skin so it has lemon in it let's remove this before we try to sniff it okay you can definitely smell the lemon but it honestly it smells like it's super high-end is that weird you can see like the little beads in here I'll have a close-up for you guys um, but yeah this looks like a really really nice exfoliator and the full size is pretty expensive so Let's see how the beads actually feel like because I have sensitive skin so I can't have anything too harsh but the beads don't feel too harsh actually. I don't know if you guys can tell but this side looks so much smoother already. Can you tell? It just looks so clean. Okay so the next item in here is this thing right here. It's a moisturizing fluid. The full size retails for $26. This formula adds shine, eliminates frizz, moisturizes, humidity proof, and prepares hair for when you're using heat. Let's smell it because we don't want anything nasty smelling in our hair, right? It doesn't smell fruity or anything like that. It smells kind of musky. I don't know. It smells like something my husband would like to be honest, but we'll try it out. I don't know if you can use this in damp hair, or, I mean, or just damp hair or dry hair as well. But we'll definitely go ahead and try it out, and I will let you guys know what I think about it in an empties video and on Instagram. So, yeah. The next thing I see in here is like this big old sheet right here, and I think I've seen people get this in their boxes. But this is from Dr. Jarts. It's a water replenishment cotton sheet mask, and it's good for redness and dryness. It retails for $7.50, and this is a full size. Um, this refreshing cotton sheet mask is loaded with hydrating serums, great for nurturing, nourishing dry patched skin. Um, my face actually isn't dry or anything like that, but it does have its moments. So I'll definitely keep this and use it for then. Um, Dr. Jard is a really, really great brand, just to let you guys know. I have tried some of their products from Birchbox and Ipsy, and it never lets me down. So I am definitely excited to try this out, and I'll let you guys know how it is on an empties video and on Instagram. I always do Instagram posts, so if you're not following me, I recommend that you do. I always have my direct links in the description box for you guys. The last two things come in the Birchbox 
pouch. So let's go ahead and check it out. I'm pretty sure my sample choice is gonna be in here. Yep. So I have like two little things. The first one is my sample choice and this is the LOC by Tati. Um, I guess they're like collaborating or something like that. This is the one and done shadow stick and it the full size retails for $10. It's a creaseless waterproof shadow with shades curated by YouTube beauty star Tati. So, this color, what's the color right here? And I actually picked this over the nude lipstick just because I have a bunch of nude ones and this just really does seem up my alley. So, I feel like this may replace the copper for a little while. So. I'll definitely go ahead and use this. I'll use it in a makeup tutorial, post it on Instagram, and see what you guys think, whether you like it or not. Okay, so the last thing I got in my birch box is this little sample from The Balm, and like, <laughs> it's tiny. That's what she said. So, it's um, Shadow and Blush in Frat Boy. So this retails for $21 for the full size. It's a finely ground blush and shadow formula. It gives skin a fresh radiance that makes you look and feel young. Let's see what the color is. This is the color. It's like a pinky salmon kind of color. I think I would use this more as a blush than anything else. You see that? I have a lot of blushes this color, so um, I may just give this to a friend or sister or somebody maybe my mom we'll see okay so that was it for my birch box overall it was a pretty decent box i really do like the exfoliator the mask and my eyeshadow that i picked so let's go ahead and jump into the ipsy and see what we got i actually just got this in the mail yesterday and i didn't check it i didn't check my my glam bag online either so i don't know what i'm getting so it is going to be a surprise. A surprise. So this here is the little card, Crispy and Desi, I think. And this is the bag. It's like a galaxy kind of bag. I don't know why it's a galaxy bag for November. I feel like it should be a little bit more festive. But hey, whatever. Um, this isn't really my style. If I had a daughter, I would give this to her. But I don't. So, it's just going to go in my collection. I feel something plasticky. So, we're going to go ahead and open it up. And, yep, I got two plastic things in here. So, the first one is this thing. And Ipsy doesn't come with a description card. So, just read the back of it, I guess. It's a unique oil-free moisturizer that contains all-natural water blending, binding mechanisms for skin, improves skin barrier function, and provides long-lasting moisture. So you just apply it on your face and neck after cleansing. So it's just like a facial moisturizer. Um, let's see if it's sealed. I'm not going to open it. It's sealed. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave it like this and put it in with my samples because I'm already using a moisturizer right now. I don't want to open this, but again, I'll let you guys know my thoughts on it later on when I actually do use it up. So this is the little bag in here. and. It's a little eyeliner and an eyeliner brush that is so cool. It's so cute. I don't want to wake up my son. He's like sleep on this thing. Noise. Okay. So it comes with your basic like eyeliner brush with the fine tip. And this here is a eyeliner. It's in the color navy and it's by, I can't even read that font. Beauty Basics Navy Gel Eyeliner. Ooh, and it comes with like a little plastic protector for people like me who like poking at things so it's like a really really nice kind of blue color can you see that it's not really like a dark navy like almost black like most navies are this is like a really nice pretty blue shade let's go ahead and swatch it so okay so there you go right there it's a really really pretty blue it's also very creamy it is definitely not drying it seems like you can definitely blend it out and make it a little bit lighter so I will definitely play with this and see how I like it 
Okay, so the next thing I have is from the brand Tristique. And this here is a mini matte lip crown in the color Florence Fig. To be honest, by like the outside exterior, it looks like my kind of lipstick. Ooh, that's it right there. It's really, really nice. Um, I'm, I already know about this. I did receive a brown eyeshadow cream from them. They work really, really well. The eyeshadow creams, they last a long time. So I'm hoping that the crowns last a long time as well. So this right here will obviously be in my everyday makeup bag as well. Probably, it kind of looks like what I'm wearing right now. Just a little bit darker. Yeah, I will definitely be using this. You'll see it in a makeup tutorial and all that stuff. And you will definitely be seeing it on Instagram. What is this? Oh my god, I got a nail polish. Right now I have a like French manicure on my hand and I've been looking for a nail polish like this. I don't have one, believe it or not. I have one from Kiss, but it's just like one of those that like keeps on indenting after three days of having it on your nails. Okay, so anyways, this is a nail lacquer in the shade Commando. It's super exterior extended wear, high gloss, chip resistance, water and detergent resisted and uv protected we'll see how it works out and i'll let you guys know on instagram so this is the color right here it's very very pretty it's like a toffee kind of color it is super pretty i love unique colors like this and i would definitely be putting this on my nails next you'll see you shall see so we have one more thing in here and it is what i believe everybody got I think everybody got a sample of the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. I love mascaras, you guys already know that. Right now I already have three open, as you will see on my everyday makeup tutorial. So I'm not going to open this um, just because I want to wait. I have very sensitive eyes. If I use a mascara that's older than three months, they burn, they hurt, and I can get a sty. So I don't want to open this and not get to it by the time it expires. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it like this. I really hope this is a good mascara. If you guys have tried out this mascara, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of it. Is it a volumizing mascara? Does it separate your lashes? Does it do anything for your lashes? Let me know in the comments below. I would very much appreciate it. Okay, so that is it for my Birchbox versus Ipsy. I really am interested in knowing what it is that you got in your boxes. Let me know in the comments below who you think should win. I honestly, I don't know who to pick. They were both really, really, really good. But like always, Birchbox sends me more like skincare and hair care. And Ipsy sends me more makeup. So I honestly think they're both tied right now. I love the products in both of the boxes. Let's find out. So out of Birchbox, let's see what I'm really stoked. I'm really stoked about the exfoliator, the eyeshadow, and this mask is actually like really, really good. So And over here, I really do like, I like four out of five. So I guess it's Ipsy because I love this mascara. This eyeliner is to die for the lipstick and yeah. That being said, I guess I will give it to Ipsy just because it's four out of five and Birchbox is three out of five. But I am happy with both of them. I can't wait to get my BoxyCharm. I should be getting it this week, so keep a lookout for that. Again, if you're not subscribed, please do so you can see the unboxing of that when I post it. What is this? So yeah, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions or recommendations, as always, leave them in the comments below. I will get back to you guys as fast as I can. If you're not following me on Instagram, I will have the direct link in the comments below so that you can keep up with my post and my life and what's going on, reviews and stuff like that. That is where it's at. So yeah, with that being said, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. 